Welcome to the 12th Mac User's Guide podcast for 2009. Mac User's Guide offers you the latest news, reviews, how-tos, and expert opinions on everything Mac users need to know about Apple's line of Mac computers and software. Our podcast series and website offer Mac users from beginners to pros all the information they could want about Apple software and products from OS X to iPhone apps, all in one place. This podcast is produced and edited by Mac User's Guide. Behind the camera... Carl Berkeley. This video podcast focuses on how to put together a working iMac G5 from two donor computers. I will show you how to take apart an iMac G5 and remove a working power supply and reinstall it into an iMac G5 with a good graphics card. Also featured in this video will be step-by-step instructions on how to open and close an iMac and install a hard drive and RAM. First you want to remove the three main screws that hold on the back panel to the iMac. Once removed, just simply hinge up the back panel just like a hood of a car. Inside you'll find the hard drive and the power supply. We're going to be working on the power supply. First remove the uh, screw, center screw of the back panel then remove the right screw and left screw, and then the center screw. You'll find the power supply connected to the motherboard. You'll have to separate this cable connector. Simply wedge a flathead screwdriver in between the power supply connector and its seat. Once loose, with a little bit of coaxing, rocking back and forth, you'll be able to remove the power supply. Removing the hard drive is not too difficult. There are three main screws that you need to remove. Once the screws are removed, you'll see a little cable connector connected from the hard drive to the motherboard. You'll have to remove this by wedging your, hard, your screwdriver again between into the cable connector and slowly and gently rocking it loose. Don't do this too hard or you'll damage the cable connector. Next, remove the SATA connector and the power supply. Next bring out your working iMac. This iMac has a working graphics card and now you're going to reinstall the working power supply into this iMac. Start by putting the hard drive back into the computer. Reconnect the small cable, again being very careful not to push too hard to break it. Then reattach the power supply and the SATA connector. Next, screw in the three main screws that hold in the hard drive. Now you're ready to reinstall the power supply. You want to make sure you lever it in. Push the side that's closest to you, toward you, and then push down. That'll reseat it. Then, return all the screws back into their original holes, and then reseat the cable connector back to the motherboard. Reinstalling the RAM on this particular iMac couldn't be easier. Simply align the pins and then push in, gently rocking back and forth and making sure that the sides clip in. Then install the second one. Same procedure. Line it up, rock it back and forth, and push in. Now you're ready to test what you've done. Plug it back in. You'll see a green light turn on. That means that you're getting power from the power supply. Push down the PMU to reset it. Then next, hit the power button right next to it. You'll see two lights light up, the fans kick on, and then eventually the third and fourth light will illuminate.
Once on, you can flip it over, and you'll see that the startup screen is coming on. You'll see the little pinwheel kick on, and then eventually you'll see the boot panel. Once satisfied with your results of getting the Finder to launch, you'll flip the Mac back over. There are two pins located on the back of the motherboard. These are the power switch. You'll grab a flathead screwdriver, put it across the two pins, and push down. This will power off your Mac. Then just simply remove the power cable and put the back panel back on your iMac. You can learn more about this and other tips at macusersguide.com's help desk or tune in every week to our podcast series.